Hey tech heads, Fina here. Today we're going to check out news about the refreshed BYDC lineup for 2025. And believe me, this is worth it. BYD is serving up a hefty portion of improvements that could really shake up the electric sedan market. So sit back comfortably because this is going to be a ride. So BYD has prepared a really interesting package of improvements for the SEAL model. Let's take a closer look and then we'll get into details later. First, BYD is finally bringing an 800 volt platform to the SEAL model. And this is something that we've seen in premium brands like Porsche or Audi, and now we have it even here. And trust me, this is sure to change your view on charging. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Kia and Hyundai and their eGMP platform either. Unfortunately, in the category of cheaper EVs, they're really more of an exception that proves the rule. Second, you're gonna find a LiDAR sensor on the roof of the new seal. Yes, exactly that small rotating cylinder that you might have seen on some autonomous vehicles from Waymo. Now, this isn't just for show, it actually significantly improves the capabilities of driver assistance systems. Next, we have new battery options. So BYD clearly realizes that one capacity does not fit all. So they're gonna be offering different variants for different needs. On top of that, BYD is also introducing a plug-in hybrid version called the SEAL 07 DMI. Now, this is an interesting move that could definitely appeal to those who are not yet ready to go fully electric. All right, let's start by taking a look at the technological treats that BYD is serving up. First up is definitely the 800 volt platform. And I have to say this innovation really excites me. The 800 volt architecture is something that only premium brands have really offered so far with the exceptions that I mentioned earlier. And now it will also be available in the BYD seal. But what does this mean in practice? So primarily it's going to improve charging speed. Imagine you arrive at a fast charger and in just 25 minutes, you can charge from 10 to 80%. That's pretty nice when you compare it with the previous 400 volt version of the BYD seal, which has a charging time of 10 to 80% in 37 minutes. So we have a difference of 12 minutes that is pretty significant. So you get just enough time to maybe grab a coffee and a sandwich, and then you can be on your way. No long down times, no more, you know, planning your routes around chargers so much, simply more freedom. But that is not all. The 800 volt platform also means better efficiency and performance. So less energy loss during transmission, better heat management, all of that translates into better range and better performance. And I'm sure the 800 volt technology will also be less susceptible to cold gate in the winter. What do you think about this? Another big improvement is definitely the LiDAR sensor on the roof. And this is not just a cosmetic adjustment. LiDAR or light detection and ranging is a technology that allows the car to see its surroundings in 3D. So let's say you're driving at night or in dense fog, for example, LiDAR can actually detect obstacles, pedestrians, or other cars with much greater precision than regular cameras or radars. And of course, this is gonna to translate to safer driving for you and others on the road. Moreover, as I mentioned in the beginning, this system is key for advanced driver assistance systems. So I think we can expect that BYD will gradually improve its autonomous functions. And this LiDAR seems necessary for just that. So who knows, maybe in a few years, we'll be riding in a seal without the need to even hold the steering wheel. You can certainly argue that Tesla now manages without LiDAR, but honestly, Tesla is the only one that has the ability to do this because no one else has such a huge amount of data from vehicles in operation at their disposal. So I think other car manufacturers just have to take a different path. So who do you think will win in this autonomous driving race in the future? Okay, and now we're getting to what most of us are interested in the most, which is of course, performance and range. And here I have to say, BYD really did not slack off. Let's start with the most interesting. The top version of the new seal can boast a maximum speed of 240 kilometers per hour. That is a value that I think will satisfy even the most demanding drivers. 
Acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is just 3.8 seconds. And that is sports car territory, so pretty impressive. As far as battery goes, BYD is going to offer two variants. We have the 61 kilowatt hour and 81 kilowatt hour. The smaller battery is ideal for those who drive mostly in the city. They maybe don't even need much of a longer range. And then of course the larger battery will satisfy those who are often going on longer trips. And what is the range you ask? So according to the Chinese CLTC cycle, we're looking at between 510 kilometers to 650 kilometers. Now I know that the CLTC is a bit optimistic, but even if the real range was say 20% lower, we would still be talking about very solid numbers. Now, if you're a tech detail lover, you might want to know that the base model has a 170 kilowatt rear motor, and that is more than sufficient for a spirited drive. The more powerful version offers a 230 kilowatt motor. And if you crave maximum power, the top version with all wheel drive will offer you a whopping 390 kilowatts. And that is really some serious horsepower under the hood. Something that personally quite surprised me is that BYD is also introducing a plug-in hybrid version called the Seal 07 DMI. This is an interesting move that could, of course, appeal to those who are not yet ready for a fully electric car, so I suppose BYD is covering all of their bases here. And they offer two configurations. The first has a 1.5 liter engine producing 74 kilowatts, paired with a 160 kilowatt electric motor, and the second variant offers a turbocharged 1.5 liter engine with 115 kilowatt power, complemented by a 200 kilowatt electric motor. And what really caught my attention here is the electric range of these hybrids. So according to the CLTC cycle, they offer 70 kilometers and 125 kilometers purely on electricity, respectively. This means that you can handle probably most of your daily city driving without using any gasoline at all. And even though we know that CLTC is relatively lenient, in reality, it is still bound to be a sufficient value. And now to the less fun, but still important part, prices. So the new seal starts in China at a price of 175,800 yuan, which is about 22,500 euros in conversion. That's not bad at all considering all the technology that we're getting. The highest version with all-wheel drive will cost 239,800 yuan, which is about 33,500 euros. So yes, it's more, but for that price, you're getting a car that can boldly compete with premium brands. As for availability, we only have information about the Chinese market so far, but knowing BYD, I'm sure that we'll soon hear about plans for global expansion and global prices might just positively surprise us. So what do you think? Will global prices be significantly higher? Perhaps lower? Well, probably higher, but we'll see. Let me know what do you think in the comments. And speaking of global expansion, BYD is definitely not idle on that front. They recently opened a new factory in Thailand and are planning to open another one in Indonesia. So this clearly shows their ambition to become a global player. What personally interested me is that the SEAL recently entered the Mexican market. Now, this could be the first step towards expansion on the American continent. Maybe in time, the BYD SEAL will start competing with Tesla Model 3 right on its home turf. What do you think? Is this likely to happen? So the BYD SEAL lineup for 2025 brings really interesting improvements. The 800 volt platform, LiDAR, the powerful motors, solid range. All of this makes it a very attractive package. The question is, can this car compete with established players like the Tesla Model 3 or our beloved MG4? Personally, I think BYD has shown that it has the technology and ambition to shake up the electric car market. But what do you think? Can BYD Seal actually attract European customers? Would you buy it? 
Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on more news from the world of electromobility. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.